Right, hello fellow engineers. Welcome back to Engitopia. I think we need to expand this sort of awesome residential area. Because it's quite cool, but it's also very small. I feel like that road in might be quite busy. So I'm going to add another road. Maybe from the side of this cemetery. It's a bit... <laughs> It's a bit polluted down here, isn't it? And you'll notice this as well. I've got a few mods today. So one of the mods I have is called the Move It mod. And if I can find out where it is. Yes, Move It mod. Okay. Oh, look at this. So I can move my roads and stuff. So what I want to do, I want to move this down that way a bit. Like I want a new junction there. But I don't want it to be a crossroads. Oh no, that building's gone. <laughs> so now hopefully if I come to build a road. Yes, now I can get a road in there. Oh, this is going to be so much better. Yeah, so this road, we're going to sort of, we're going to keep the curves going, I think. And I want to tie it into that one at the back. Sort of. Right now we can continue our crazy maze. <laughs> Alright, so that should be good. I might just move the end of this with the move it mod. Oh, this is so cool that you can like move stuff afterwards. All right, so I might go around and just sort of fix all these. All right, and now, oh God, we need, we need some residential. Look how in demand it is. So someone in the comments said there's a paintbrush tool in, where'd they say it was? They said it was in the thing where you name stuff. I can not remember. Ah, here you go, zone. It tells you how to do the different Areas. Okay, so these things down here, right. So rather than clicking on every single bloody area, we can just use that one. We can paint them all in. That's much better. I don't know if I... I yeah, I don't think I want those ones. So that's quite close to the pollution. So I might keep all of this corner and just make that blue. So we don't mind shops being next to our industrial area. All right, and then we'll just do the rest residential because people are in need. Oh, that's much better. That's quite satisfying as well. I'm a bit worried about these ones, because they were dying last time, weren't they? I think I said my plan was we will use these, like, sea turbines rather than the ones on the hill. Maybe we should look at doing that. We've got 38 grand. How much do these cost? 12,000. Damn. The question is, do I get money for destroying these? So where's my money? 40,000. Bollocks. Okay, you get no money <laughs> doing that. That's quite annoying. Okay, so of course we need to fill in our drainage. Someone else in the comments as well. He said he was a like water main sort of person. I don't know if you remember last time, or maybe the time before, I said about I'm not sure whether you need to tie these together. But uh, apparently yes, that is a thing. Apparently they don't like dead ends in water mains. Okay, so basically if these pipes are like not connected together and they have a dead end. You get problems with like scaling and chlorine. So it's probably best if you want it to be realistic to connect them together as much as you can. So like all these dead ends, not great for realism. All right, so what's the problem over here? Not enough educated workers. Okay, so I think I did put some education, but I'm guessing at least over here, we can put a new school in. So we've got to start young. So let's go, oh, let's get rid of that rock actually. What is that doing there? And that one. And let's build some schools. So we got a primary school, and then we'll put a high school in as well. There you go, the high school covers everyone. Have we got a high school over here? I swear I put one in last time. Well, we don't have enough money, so we can't put one in, but we do need one in Teo Heights. Which reminds me, I should probably start naming some of these areas. So this is Teo Heights, which is quite ironic because it's like super flat. <laughs> I'm gonna make this residential area another one. So let's paint this up. So I think we're gonna go with Caston Place. Nice. And I want to name some of these main roads. So the main one coming in is currently called Pine Street. But that's gotta change. That's gotta be Shrouf Street. <laughs> Love it. Nice. And I don't know if you saw that. I think that was... Was that this mod? So this is the traffic management mod. And oh god, there's a lot going on here. But hopefully I'll be able to sort these out. So at the moment, this makes no sense. We've got a slip road coming off, which is kind of at a stupid... Oh, I can't go beyond there because it's... We're stuck by this line. Oh god, look at... <laughs> look what I've done there. <laughs> All right, let's try and keep this straight. <laughs> okay, so you wouldn't ever put a bridge 
like over a slip road because it means your bridge will be longer. So, oops. Oh dear, oh dear, put that back, put that back. So ideally, you'd actually have this like over there. So that span is as short as possible. Oh shit. Oh wow, I have really messed that up. I have really messed that up. Right, I'm gonna have to work out how this works a bit better at some point. But uh, for now, let's try and make this a bit more realistic. All right, so I basically want this road to be a single lane. So I can do that, I think, by upgrade road. Oh, it's outside of city limits. Oh, so I can't actually amend that. But at the moment, this makes no sense because you've got one lane coming in, and then it goes to three, and then it narrows down to two. There's actually four coming in. So ideally what you'd have, you'd have this one just come down and come into this lane. You'd make that bend a lot nicer. And you'd keep that all as one lane. So they just merge into two lanes there. But we can't seem to fix that yet. Oh, there's that burger again. Triple. Look at the wok advert as well. Yaki soba, tasty noodles. Banging. All right, so I've just actually purchased some of that. What is that? What is that? It's like a greasy log. All right, it's gone. It's gone. All right, so now I can actually soup this up. So upgrade, I want that to be one way. No, one way, one lane. That one. There we go. All right, so there's a lot of dodgy merging of lanes going on here. So I want to try and do it. I've seen Biffa do it in a video before. So I know it's possible. I think it's with this mod. You can tell them to stay in each lane. So look at this guy, he's cutting across onto the right lane. So click on the lane changing point. So that's this bit. So we want to draw from there to that lane. And then from there to that lane. Okay, so our lane's set up, although you're trying to merge there, you prick. <laughs> Alright, so I think I only want this road to be one lane. It makes no sense to have two lanes, because it all gets a bit dodgy down here. Oh no, I destroyed their houses. Was that the wrong type of road to use? Can I undo? Control Z. No, nope, bollocks, alright. It's gonna have to be a two-way lane. And then I'm gonna paint these again. Look at the speed they're coming around this corner. <laughs> uh, I wonder, can I change... Can I use this to change the speed? Okay, so they come off here and then they slow down. This is actually how they do speed limits in, like, most of Europe. Like, as you come down a slip road, you'll see, like, there's different speed limit signs. Pretty mental. You don't do that in the UK at all. It's literally, like, national speed limit, which is motorway speed. And then, well, you usually come to, like, a roundabout. We don't have a roundabout at the moment. We'll probably put that in later, but for now, let's sort this junction as well. Uh, that's not right. I love that people still use the road, though. <laughs> nice. All right, everyone's going to freak out, but I just want to build this a bit better. All right, there we go. That's a bit smoother. So when they get here, we want to use this mod. Okay, for some reason, we only have... Wait, what? Have I done a two... Oh, I think I did a... Oh, okay, I used the wrong type of road there. It's got to be that one. There we go. I was wondering why that wasn't working. All right, so now green goes right. Red goes left. So hopefully they're all in line here. So that should be fine. They switch and then they decide where they want to go. Sweet. All right, so the drive... Why are you parked there? <laughs> why? All right, so they get to here. They go right and over. That junction massively needs sorting out. That slip road's far too steep, so it really wants to be like more like that sort of shape. Oh god, what the? What have I done there? All right, so I think that's good. I might just use this to sort of keep people straight. And these people, we only want them to join the slow lane, just like a real road. So that should be fairly realistic. I'll probably have to find like a mod to do these right. Cause that does not look good. But anyway, that's far more realistic than it was. Apart from this bend. Let's see if we can sort that. So really I should sort of build all this up. Because you only really use like a constant radius. You shouldn't be using lots of little different ones. I think we'll come back at another episode. I've spent spent enough time sort of tweaking this. But yeah, we'll come back to major highway design. Let's get back to our game. And oh god, we need more houses badly. Nice, okay, so where are we going to build more houses? So I think as we have all this sort of nice area we might just build here i'm gonna fancy doing a bit of terraform i added a mod where you can change the landscape i'm gonna pause the game as well so i feel like everything's going wrong <laughs> so i added some landscaping mod and it means i can make stuff a bit more interesting for free so what i thought we'd do would make this area quite a bit 
more hilly. Alright, so now I've got this area. It's a bit more interesting to look at. So we're gonna, we're gonna put a new junction in off Shroud Street. We're gonna go down here. I'm gonna name this one straight away. So if we do a junction there. So I think you want to keep our main route down here, sort of where it's flat and not go up that. What you try and do with highways is sort of follow the contours. So you can see it slopes up that way, so you'd sort of try and keep it around there. I think we're going to tie this back up, so sorry houses. Alright, so I'm just going to use the old move it to try and just smooth things out a bit. Okay, so this is our new sort of residential. I'm going to call this the Zack Avenue. Right, I've just realized Zack Avenue is the wrong type of road. It should actually be two-way. Definitely don't want one-way. So if I just upgrade all of these. Right, that's much better. Our junction is a little bit dodge. So I'm just going to move that there so it's nice and perpendicular. When we're looking at this, we're looking at the visibility again. So down there is awesome. There's nothing built here. The hedge is way back. So we can see that way perfectly. That way, not too bad, because we're on the outside of the bend, this house isn't really affecting us. So that's a nice realistic junction. I will, however, remove those from being built on, because they're properly in our visibility displays. Right, so I do want to link these. I think as these houses are abandoned, we'll do a short little reroute through there. So that's pretty good. That's on the outside of a bend again, so you can look both ways quite easily. This is currently on the inside of a bend, so what I might do is kind of straighten this up. So that's actually a super dangerous junction. Like, if you're coming out here, you'd look right kind of okay. You can see quite far, but when you look left, it's not only are you on the inside of a bend, but you've also got a hill. So visibility as well, it's also about the vertical sort of distance. So that's not ideal. I wonder if I do some landscaping, will it change the road? No, the road's fixed. That's annoying. So obviously this road is just following the gradient of the ground. And what you'd do here, if you wanted a junction, you wouldn't just keep that. You'd have to put that in cutting. So the road would be below the existing ground level and there'd be the earthwork slopes. So if we were to delete that, so I think I might have to do my earthwork stuff first. Now that's pretty straight. So you can see as we're between contours, it's kind of flat the whole way. So that should be much better if we were to put a road to connect the two. All right, so now when you come here, you look right, that's fine. That's a very steep bit of road. Probably wouldn't be at a junction like that. That's not too bad. And then you look left and it's much flatter. We've got a few trees. I'd probably remove those trees. Now you can see really far. Awesome, and let's delete these rocks that are now in the middle of our road. Not the most realistic, that. Just a big old boulder in your road. All right, we'll get rid of these pylons as well. We don't want these cluttering up Zack Avenue. All right, so I think we'll add some cul-de-sac sort of things. So from there, up into there. I think we'll probably leave that area. Just because it's a bit of a hill, quite hard to get a road up there. I think then we want to come off sort of maybe this sort of area from this bend. And again, we'll try, try and follow the gradient. Nice. Now I might just fill in like, along this edge just so we can build on there a bit easier. I'm kind of interested just to see, could I build another road around here and give some really posh sort of river view houses? So that might work. Let's have a go. And these rural roads, they're very sort of different to designing major highways. Because the speed's so low, it's not that important to get these all clean looking. Right, let's see then, if we were to build houses in there. It looks like they might do, that looks really steep. I'm interested to see what the game will do if we paint all these. All right, so we'll paint all of these up. I'm not gonna do that visibility display. So I think our first house will be sort of that one. Leave them empty. All right, there you go, that's pretty cool. I'm interested to see what the game does with the houses up and around here. Pretty cool though, we need to give them drainage. So I think we'll come off this junction and we'll just follow Zack Avenue. Obviously we're staying under the roads to keep it somewhat realistic. 
Right, so this is, I think, going to be our poshest sort of area. So, rather than Emma Street, what Patreon do I think is posh? <laughs> I'll tell you what, we might call this Crimson Heights. Nice. Alright, so custom place finishes there. We're going to extend this one. And we're going to call this district just the Green Monkey. After another one of my Patreons. The Green Monkey district consists of Zack Avenue and Crimson Heights. All right, so now it's time to press play, I guess. And let's watch all the buildings go up. I really want to see what happens over here. Any buildings on these steeper bits? Oh, it looks like they do actually dig out the earthworks. Can you see there's like slopes around it? That's cool. Oh, look at that one, proper perched on top. All right, so I'm going to add a park for these people as well. Because it's meant to be posh, so I believe someone made a park. I don't know if I have access to it. Yes. <laughs> Someone made a park for me and sent it on my Discord. It's called <laughs> Rocket Monument Park. <laughs> and this is going in. It's going in there. So let's have a look at this park. It just looks like a normal sort of monument and then... Oh! <laughs> yes. Yes, my very own custom park. Who wants the name of this one? Do I just keep it as Rocket Monument Park, or should I name it? I probably shouldn't name it after a Patreon. I think they'll be a bit, <laughs> a bit mad at that. But let me know, Patreons, if you want a park like that. Oh, look, we got a little grill there, so you can get some food as well. That's awesome. The residents are going to love that. The, the property values are going to go skyward. You can see that for miles. So imagine working in like this office factory thing. You just look out your window, you're like, what? What is that over there? <laughs> Excellent. Thank you for making that. If anyone else wants to make me a mod, I'll be more than happy to add them to Engetopia. Right, so housing is now satisfied. We need a few more shops and stuff. So I think we might make these shops. We're going to demolish all of these disused factory buildings. I assume you have to demolish them and then people come back and make them. Not entirely sure. But oh god, oh, that's building up. That isn't great. What's that? Is that on fire? What does that mean? Building is on fire. Oh, oh yes, it's on fire. All right, we're going to watch them save the day. Go on. Get in there. You got two hoses. Oh, God. A third. You've parked very close there, mate. He's just spraying water everywhere. <laughs> All right, they saved the day. Awesome. Ah, so up here, we don't have water connection. Oh, why not? Look at this. There is pipe, but there's not... I think we need more water availability do we hey we got busy town awesome fireworks so i'm gonna quickly try and sort out my water stuff so i'm wondering maybe can i just add another water pump thing so if i build that there okay so water availability has gone way up but sewage treatment <laughs> it's gone way down so maybe we add another i really don't like how brown this is i might add more sewage over this end. So if we do a sewage plant like there. All right, so that's all connected up. I'm just gonna bung a wind turbine there for now. And that should just power that. And hopefully I can just add more sewage there. I might even get rid of that one and try and clean up my coastline. Yeah, I think I'll do that. So let's add another sewage treatment and then connect it with a pipe. And I'm gonna get rid of this one. So that's gone now. And I'm hoping the water might get cleaned up so let's do a time lapse. Let's just see, will this become clear? I really hope it does. Right, so that looks like it's cleaned up pretty nicely. I think our coastline should be clear of poo. Oh, look how bad it is down here still. <laughs> oh, I'm glad I don't own that plot. <laughs> look how far it goes. <laughs> As far as the eye can see. But yeah, at least our coastline should be getting cleaned up a bit. I did notice everyone was complaining about power though. Oh, the power's not reaching over here. Ah, oh, so our electricity... Oh god, that's quite bad actually. Teo Heights are not in a good place. So we need to build some more. And as I said last time, I'm just going to do these C ones. I'm just going to hope that they don't sort of affect these houses. It also looks like my garbage is ruined. Holy shit. Alright, so 
time lapsing on this game, I should probably check things are good before I do that. I assume this thing's full. Oh god. Yeah, there's no more room. So we're gonna need another garbage area. Which isn't great, but let's just bung one in here. So we really need an incineration plant, but we're just gonna have to make do. I think we're gonna put two in as well. So two right next to each other. We gotta work out what to do with this one. So we can empty that to another facility. Yeah, so I think what we'll do, once we get the incineration plant, We'll empty that to another facility and then clean it all up. Oh god, look how <laughs> look how many bin symbols there are. And this whole strip of houses have been abandoned. I think I need to delete them manually then. So yeah, bin situation not good. Well, hopefully it will fix itself. Uh, but <laughs> what have I done? <laughs> I've ruined this city. This is meant to be an engineer's paradise. But yeah, we'll leave it there and I'll try and work on some stuff next time. I, I kind of want to next time either sort out this junction properly or like add a new one. I've actually expanded quite a lot. So what we could do, we could put one in down here and kind of maybe include the bridge. Ooh, that'd be cool. But yeah, I'll catch you next time. Peace, love and bridges.